during a service. So thank you for your faith and your trust in, in what God's doing in all of our lives. I want to publicly thank Dave. Um, I am not the reason he's successful. I'm actually, he is successful actually in spite of me. Um, <laughs> so I'm, a, I'm on his coattails for sure, but I want to thank him for being my partner in life through the good, the bad, the ugly, and now the saved. Um, and Jeff baptized both Dave and I together in a wonderful, um, in a very emotional service in August. It was August 27th of 2017 right here in the parking lot um, of the middle school where both of our children went to school. So it was very special for Dave and I. So this morning I was gonna break my story into three parts. Um, I made a reference to the good, the bad, and the ugly. It was an old movie that um, Clint Eastwood was in. Um, but I'm outdating myself with that reference. But the other thing I'm gonna add into my story is the a Lego tower. So hopefully that'll touch somebody. Um, Lego. <laughs> Lego Tower of Sin, um, and then the last thing um, are my fluorescent shoes. I don't know if you can see my fluorescent shoes. So those are the three things that I'm going to weave in my story. But first of all, um, Ephesians 2, 8 says, For it is by grace you have been saved through faith, and it is not from yourselves. It's a gift from God. So that's kind of my um, truth in my life, Ephesians 2, 8. So the good, um, before following Jesus as a member of North Star, my life reflected hard work, um, decent grades in school, huge family, I'm the youngest of nine kids, so there were 11 of us in the house that I grew up in. Um, privilege of traveling all over the life, all over the world. My dad was in the foreign service and then I became a travel agent, so I traveled everywhere, got to meet a lot of nice people, and I was enjoying life. Um, God provided for me to marry Dave, um, to have a nice home. We had two cute kids, a dog and a cat, and um, he provided jobs and careers for both of us. So things were going very, very well, and um, things were good by society standards, of course. Um, for the most part, we went to church um, on Christmas and Easter, so that was good. We were good Christians. Um, the bad and the ugly. Ooh, it's mostly me. Um, before following Jesus, my life reflected true rebellion against God. Um, I pretty much believed all of Satan's lies about me, that God would never love somebody with a past like mine. Um, I was a college dropout. I didn't deserve God's love. I used food and alcohol and exercise to numb feelings of depression, anxiety, and worthlessness. Um, just the fact that I left school and moved to California and drank for a few years was something that, again, Satan was absolutely um, a master at weaving into my thoughts pretty much daily. I focused on years of sin stacked up higher and higher and higher like a Lego tower, a weird chipped broken Lego tower um, of all different pieces. So God kept calling me and I would respond temporarily back to church, especially on Christmas and Easter, and basically was covered with guilt and shame, but covered it up with humor and laughter, lots of friends traveling. I became a pro at pushing God away and calling out for him only when I needed something, um, and at times of grief and sorrow. I have lost two sisters. Uh, one was 48, and my other sister, that was Louise, my other sister Teresa was 57 when she died. Watching their coffins go into the ground almost did me in, but God was there. He picked me up and said, keep on going. He basically pulled me out of every mess I ever wandered into. Um, he would say, up you go. Here you go, my precious daughter. I've got you. You're mine. You are safe. So here comes the good part, the saved. We've been through the good, the bad, the ugly, now the saved. Um, in 2001, God gave us a miracle. He provided a job for Dave, and he moved us to Blacksburg, Virginia, which led me to um, BSF, Bible, Bible Study Fellowship, and which eventually led us to North Star. And for the next 11 years, God spoke to me through his living, breathing word. He had me open the Bible. He had me show up at Bible Study Fellowship. I arranged my work schedule at Virginia Tech to always keep Wednesday morning open, and I studied, and I studied, and I did my questions at night, and I learned the truth, and at that time, during my Bible study, is when God, our Savior, shut Satan up. 
He absolutely did for me. He just shut him up. And he opened his arms and I ran to him. And I was broken and I was tired, but I was forgiven. So God kicked over, I know it's corny, but God literally kicked over the Lego Tower of Sins in my life. He kicked it over. And Jesus' blood washed away all those pieces. I didn't have to go back into the living room and pick up all those pieces. They were gone through the blood of Christ. And God provided a way for me to go back to school after 25 years of feeling like a college dropout. Um, went back to school. I got my bachelor's degree and then my master's degree uh, from Radford University. And he's using all of my past experiences with alcohol and depression and anxiety and lies and guilt and shame. He's turned all that around and I'm working Hokie Wellness now at Virginia Tech and I have a packed counseling schedule and um, you can come see me in the comments if you ever want to talk. And I've been there 11 years. I love my job. Um, as Neil said, I work with Stephen Ministry, with Aaron Peck, and um, several others here that are doing some good work. Ronnie um, Bluey is an angel, and she and I work with Brand Connect and with Teresa. And so God is just so great and so funny and so helpful. And I don't, um, I can't say enough about what He's done in my life. So what I know now, in close, in closing, is that God loves each and every one of us. Um, Salvation is real. You're looking at it. I've been saved. Um, redemption is actually a thing. It's actually a thing. So um, the Holy Spirit dwells in each of us, and Jesus loves me, and he loves you, and his grace is absolutely amazing. And the reason for the shoes is that um, God really did have to light my path, and he really did have to get me walking in a straight direction. And these bright shoes and any pair of shoes I put on that Dave um, buys for me or gives me are just a reminder to keep going and to finish this race strong. I'm 58 years old and I don't know if I'll be around. Like I said, I bury two sisters and every day is a gift and so I just wear fun shoes and I um, they also remind me that God did knock over that Lego tower and I love each and every one of you, even the ones that I don't know. I want you to know that God loves you and Jesus is here for us. So, Amen. Thank you.